Whoa. Sparkly. Isn't that Arceus? Are we talking to God before our inevitable birth? Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It's like Rowan. <laughs> what if you're just... Well, it is well that thou art here. It is... It is well that thou art here. I am aware that which humans I am that which humans call Arceus. It's not Arceus, it's Arceus. Shut the fuck up. Anyone who disagrees is wrong. The book literally agrees with me. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. I love this. I love this. This is so cool that it's not like... Oh, this is so much cooler than like talking to a professor we're talking to a fucking god seek out all the pokemon and thou shalt find me once more whoa that's cool what a cool intro there's me in a modern day t-shirt my iphone no not my iphone hey Fuck. What's happening to me? Stop touching my iPhone. Whoa, look at him. So pretty and majestic. So are we from the future? It looks like we're from the future. Holy fucking shit, we're like assassins creating this shit. I noticed it said autosave. Is this the first Pokemon mainline game that's oh wanna 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 wake up? Oh, uh, do wake up, won't you? No. Oh shit, where am I? Why am I You gave me quite a shock. What the fuck is that over there? Is this like a glowing evil light of doom. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that, but thank goodness you seem unharmed. Where am I? Why? This is Prelude Beach. This is just, just shut the fuck up. Prelude Beach. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. Prelude Beach, of course. My dear, did the shock of your fall somehow addle your memory? No, you don't quite look like from this. Yeah, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have acquaintance in these parts, would you? I, I, I doubt it. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is proper pickle indeed. A huge reckoning. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Somehow, I guess. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon the person in such need. Crow! Foom! Plish plash! Of course. Oh my, I did completely- I uh, completely forgotten. I just caught up with these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It is almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Whoa, really? That's cool. Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Leventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. I'm something of a- Shit, what's the quote? I'm shit of a something. I'm something of a something myself. Fuck. What's it from? I'm something of a of a. I'm something of a uh myself. A fuck. God damn it. What's it, the quote? That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three. Hey. Oh, bless and bother. Why my darling? Why did you go British? <laughs> Why my darling Pokemon? Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think I could? You could help me round them up? I beg you. I like not having a hat. That's the best thing about being a Pokemon trainer. Not having a stupid fucking hat. Do I? Can I do the Leon spin? Is there another one of these? No, there's no Leon spin. Damn it. I can dash. I can run. I can fucking run. That's so dope. That's actually, this is literally the best Pokemon game. Of course, cell phone. There's a glowing, beeping object over there. My phone. I, this is the one I dropped. It looks like the same one. I bet Arceus gave this to me. <laughs> that resembles a phone. Well, good to know. 
It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. I was right. It's our phone. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone, and thy mission? Seek out all Pokemon. Fucking based Arceus putting us in history. Let's go. Love, I like, I like this kind of pro I like the reasoning for the phone <laughs> rather than it because the trailer was made it really awkward because I did not understand why there was a phone I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some pokeballs to it but I'm not the best so at this sort of thing you see now that one is Rallet. wow what what nice animation that one over there is Cyndaquil the fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate the Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott pokeballs there's that Pokemon to catch them. Wow, that's a lot of Pokeballs. Alright, here's my opinion on the three. First of all, Oshawott, Gen 5. I did not like Gen 5 for a while. I still kind of don't. I still think they're the weakest of the star starters. Uh, however, the best one is Snivy, then Oshawott. Oshawott has a cool final evolution, and I, and I like Snivy's final evolution. I just don't like Embor. I don't like it's starting, I don't like it's middle, and I don't like it's final. I'm just not a fan. I do like Embor uh, as a shiny, however. It's shiny is cool. I still don't care for the design, though. Oshawott, not bad. These are before the Hisuian forms. This is currently my least, my last choice out of the three. Then the next choice would have been Cyndaquil. I like Cyndaquil, it's fine. Typhlosion's fine. Um, same. It's literally about the same to Oshawott to me. They're both just kind of the same. I really like Rowlet, and I really like Decidueye. That is, <laughs> until recently, where a certain change has happened to their Hisuian forms. With that in mind, the positions change around drastically. It goes from Rowlet, Cyndaquil, Oshawott, to Cyndaquil, Oshawott, Rowlet. I really don't like the grass fighting. I think it's a terrible typing. I don't like how he looks. Uh, Oshawott, I'm okay with how he looks. I really like the typing. Greninja's cool. I like Fennekin more out of Gen 6, but Greninja's really cool, and I like that typing a lot. And he looks cool. He's kind of edgy, and, and he kind of looks same, but that's okay. I kind of didn't want them to have Hisuian forms, personally, in the first place. I like the idea of it. I just didn't want these three to have it. Uh, and, and, uh, Typhlosion. I really like. I like the ghost type edition. I think it makes it really cool, way better than it used to be. I think it's honestly, I like that it's kind of sad boy, and I've already seen it with the flames on it, which has changed my perspective on it completely, because originally I was like, eh, but with the flames, the flames are cool. I was originally going to choose Oshawott till I saw the flames. So now that I know, I know who I'm going for. Got it. Yeah! So, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearing for a Pokemon in the slightest. I fucking love Pokemon. So, can I just throw? Okay, and then that locks me on. Got it. Perfect. That's really easy. That's good to know. Many people who fear to even approach Pokemon, never mind catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up. Sharp as shall we? Oh, what the? I'm first person? That's cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. I just fucking sniped Rowlet. Get sniped, bitch. Hey! Get fucking caught my balls. Get teabagged. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, these three Pokemon caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. As I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But one can't help but to think there's a reason you appeared here and now. <laughs> Seek out all Pokemon. If you indulge me for the moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile the region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokédex. Yes, the proper Pokédex is a wonderful work of research, containing details, records of all the Pokemon to be found in the region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub. The rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, I cannot have many mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person who is with a clear talent for catching a Pokemon. 
Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation right for teamwork, don't you agree? Sure thing. Come now, what do you say? Shall we develop? Shall we help one out? Oh, fuck. Shall we help one another out, my girl? You've convinced me. Let's do it. Then whoever come from wherever you may, then whoever and from wherever you may be, welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokédex to complete. First things first, let me get those Pokémon back to the village, and then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Then you know all that. Follow me onward to Jubilee Village. Yeah, are you also? Are my also? Yeah, the weird fucking distortion in the that looks like an Ultra Beast distortion. It literally has like the same like cracks. Thank you for your tiredness, tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young lady was a great assistance to me and my Pokemon. I hope that you should forgive my bringing her to the village for a bit. Thanks, bro. This way, if you please. His, doing this voice hurts my fucking throat. I need to go and report that Sizzle recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you wait for me at the canteen? Oh gosh, that's what he sounds like. Well, now aren't you awfully suspicious? Well, the wallflower is for Galaxy Team Folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Lucas! Who in the world are you? And what's a bizarre garb you're wearing? A Pokemon could slice right through those flimsy excuses for clothes. Hmm. You, for you to get in here, someone must have vouched for you. Was it Professor Lavenden? You two know of each other? He's from a region a long way off. Not the most reliable sort, though, letting Pokemon run off and give him the slip and all. Three or more of them just got away, a little, got away just a little while ago. If I hadn't been wrestling up after some Pokemon drubbed me with a move called Thundershock, I'd have corralled him for sure. But the Professor, well... Unfortunately, it's just as Ray says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Oh, his name's Ray. Rusty here has agreed to help us out with our Pokedex. As in, she's joining the Survey Corps? What makes you think that's a good idea? We can't just take any misfit who wanders out of the wilderness. I'll allow it. Yeah. <sighs> Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey... Contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You can call me Silene. Professor Lavington has told me how you helped secure the, his Pokemon for when they slipped his control. And now it just seems you would like... And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. But we can't simply take advantage of a stranger who wanders among, <laughs> among us since <laughs> fuck <laughs> without the idea of their skills or origins. Now I'm sure you care to join us for a meal. I'm sure you got plenty of questions for our visitor. I really hate the voice I gave him. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi fills to, never fails to please. I'm fucking up the voices now. It's too, already too many. I already lost this because I was already having a hard time with it anyways. Where do you find the stranger first place for Professor? Oh, well, you know the great old hole in the sky? The one people call the Space Tie Rift? Uh, what the, uh, our friend flew right out of it. Was that a joke? Come now, I'm a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself with only fa only with facts. Now you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. Sure, they are. they're all over the place. In the grass, in the forest, in the ocean. It's up to a survey corpse to f study them and figure out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all about the impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess and what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Rusty will come in. She successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand? Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Uh, that's really something. We can't. We count ourselves lucky when we can't manage to catch a single wild Pokemon while fending off their attacks. Oh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that flee to the beach weren't on the attack, but the key to catching is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball, and well, it seems our friend here is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have a leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on the Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure it will start to rain on the good captain's proceeding soon enough. 
Now have your fill, Rusty, and think. If you make it to the Galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides all for all its members' needs, even if the said members fell out of the sky. Based me falling out of the sky. Imagine being awesome and falling out of the sky. Imagine being awesome like me and falling out of the sky. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Give me a cool outfit. You're really relaxed about all this. You do know that. Uh, you do know that we don't have to have get to have Rusty join the Survey Corps unless she passes the trial. Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Rusty's skills. Yeah, Lucas. Let's hope it's not misinterpreted. Hey, fuck. Uh, I'm already mixing it all up. Let's uh, no, let's hope it is not misplaced. Rusty, was it? For tonight at least, I will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. But if you fail to pass the trial, we'll put you to put we put you to tomorrow. You must move on. You will be expelled from the village that meets your fate and perhaps death in the wilds. Fuck you. I hope you die. Bitch. Big tree in the distance. Big fucking tree. Ultra Beast. What the fuck? Ah, oh, my controller's vibrating like crazy. The next day. Everything's on fire. Everyone's, like, gone. You, uh, do realize that if you fail your trial and get flung out of the village, you could, well, die out there. Well, you might even die sooner than that if you have to take on this trial without a Pokemon to be your partner. Imagine dying. Couldn't be me. Captain Silene, ma'am. I brought Rusty. You may enter. Well, thank you, Celine. You can tell I respect you with the voice I gave you. Let us get straight to it. Choose an Abra. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, to prove yourself capable of going into the Obsidian Fields and catching three different species of Pokemon, Badoof, Starly, and Shinx! Three species right away? But none of us have ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for her, if the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy Team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to say, you must pr prove beyond any doubt that you have an asset to our cause. Uh, Ray, I expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Nope, I'm fine. I'm awesome. I have Pokeballs now. I could literally live without you and do whatever the hell I want. I'm awesome. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. That one's worse. A jolly good morning to everyone. <coughs> what do you need, Professor? I just so much talking at once. In order to complete our Pokédex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Rusty absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokémon, I just got the ticket to help accomplish that. I'm fine. I know how to play. I said it. Oh, shit. Let's go. I'm not fine, actually. I need your help. I desperately need your help. Go on, Rusty. Pick the Pokémon tricks your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokémon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me. But it's plain to see that they're rather curious about you. Well, my girl, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? I want Cyndaquil. Foom! You want Cyndaquil as your first partner? Indeed. Come here! Look how cute! Aww, look at him. He did a little walkie over. With that, one of the Pokemon you get caught up as... At, for what? And with that... One of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach will will be, well, for me, fuck, for me, will now be yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked Cyndaquil back inside its Pokeball for you, so you take it. It's yours. Earthbender. Earthbender symbol. Kind of. It's close enough. You know what I mean? All right. We've made it. <gasps> it's Cynthia's older person. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. And you're hot. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Gil Gin Ginkgo Guild. The go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. You're hot. I've heard about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. And you're hot. <laughs> Investigating the odd novel key to any good merchant success. What do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to another in a battle? Sounds good. Let's do it. I like your better I like you better and better. What a wonderful what a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attend. 
Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. No! Ow! No, leave him alone. Leave him alone. Yeah, get out here. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And they gain experience through as they gain experience through battle, they learn more moves to grow even stronger. What's popping? This is our base camp. It's where we start and finish our surveys. Now remember what you've got to do. You've been tasked with catching three species. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, easy catch. Sniped. Get the fuck back here. Get sniped, bitch. Oh, this is fun. I like this. This is cool. Yeah, I did it. Let's go. I want Shinx. You don't tell me how to deal with Shinx. I'm sure he's going to be a little fucking spicy little fucker. <gasps> Hello. You're so cute. There it is. Shinx. <gasps> Look at him. How do I switch? Uh, fuck. Go. Fight. Ember. No. It's burned. Uh, items. Go. Pokeball. Where do my other balls go? I had like 50. Where do they go? An easy work of the shakes. Wait, did you really? You, you did it. You, you, you really, you really did it. These three species of Pokemon cut. You're really some kind of prodigy. Yeah, I'm awesome. You must have given Professor Leventon the sh quite the shock of his life. First you fall from the sky, then you go catch all the escaped Pokemon one after another. I honestly didn't believe the professor's story until I saw you in action for myself. Here you are with three Pokemon caught. You completed your trial. Can't wait to see the captain's reaction. I can. I want my hair done. Can I do my hair? This is literally my favorite moment of my life. This is the best moment of my life. Hi. You're so goddamn cute. It seems we will have to leave you to die after all. Shut up. Congratulations. You passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official cop unif- the, of the official uniform of the Survey Corps. I don't want it, thank you. It actually might be better than the current true shit I'm wearing now. Prevent yourself in a uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. Thank you. You may wear this as well. No, I don't want to wear that. Oh, it's Rowan. I've been waiting for you. I don't even know what to do. Oh, hello there. I am Commando, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hmm, sir, you are rusty. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Charge at him. Hiya! Fucking kicks my ass. You've got vigor, I'll give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. I'm fine, I'm perfect. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. Or the superstitious among us might see you arrival as a portent of disaster. But you pass the trial that was put to you. No matter how uh, the odd uh, you may seem, you're part of the Jubilee Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokédex. But I warn you, Rusty, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. You keep your wits about yours at work. No, I'm good. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Time to go catch Pokemon. I want an Eevee. Shiny Eevee. Yeah, but understand it. <clears throat> but understand this. Fuck. But, 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 but understand this. You may begin a no-star recruiting member among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Preferable well, uh, the old 
perform well as member of the survey corps, and I'll let you move up through the ranks. An apricorn and a tumble stone. Gotcha. I will use it to buy my clothing. Oh, I can't see. I do not like that. That's what I already have. That's the one I'm wearing. Got it. Oh, all these suck. I want long for now. That's fine. Where are my options? What the fuck is this bullshit? Dude, Karate Master? Me. Me, Karate Master. Where is pink? What the fuck? Why is there no pink? That's cool. I like the shaman one. I'll wear the shaman outfit. 